वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 3.1 ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 3 व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओके सो इन दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ आवर क्वेश्चन व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू लेट अस सी सो क्लासिफाई द फॉलोइंग रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एज डिस्क्रीट और कंटीन्यूअस ओके सो एज यू मे हैव नोन दैट देयर आर बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ द रैंडम वेरिएबल्स द फर्स्ट टाइप इज द discrete random variables as listed here and the second type is continuous random variables so we have to identify that which of the following are the discrete and continuous ones okay so let us first see the uh, first part here and that is x the number of automobile accidents per year in virginia okay so here we can very clearly see that in order to see the number of accidents in virginia per year so if we have this line and here we have to see these are the months okay and these are the accidents on y axis so we can very clearly see that either those would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 or or so on okay so these all of these has been taking a discrete values okay these are basically showing us the number of accidents which are basically either this is let me have here the one here this is let me have here this is two okay this is again in the second month we have here three uh, sorry two accidents and so on okay so this is what this is all about the discrete values and accidents can have a whole number i mean these can be one two three up to infinity okay or 1000 and so on and it cannot be 1.5 0 0.5 and so on so this is basically the discrete random variable okay this can be represented by this uh, discrete valued graphs and therefore this x is what this is the discrete okay so i have been writing them here with this dis uh, similarly in second part why the length of time to play 18 holes of golf okay so the length of time here can range from any uh, value to infinity okay so it can either be 1.77 seconds okay it can also be 20 seconds Okay. it can be 1.7859 seconds or 200.259 seconds i mean the time can range from zero to any value so this all values would be continuous okay you cannot discriminate between these two values okay so therefore these will be so close with each other that you cannot distinguish between them so those will follow a curve like this one so therefore the second one or y here will be what this would be the continuous random variable okay so i hope you have understood my point that wherever you can distinguish between the uh, values here you will see that this is a discrete and wherever you cannot distinguish between the consecutive values this will be the continuous okay or the continuous random variable the third one here is the amount of milk produced yearly by a particular cow here we can also see that we cannot distinguish between the values because because it can either be 1.7 kgs or liters okay it can be 10.85 liters okay it can also be 21.5897 up to infinity okay so these are all the values which uh, the amount of milk can be composed of so therefore this value is again what this is again the continuous random variable okay so have, you have understood the essence behind this question so similarly and the number of eggs laid each month by hand so therefore it cannot we can also see here that the number of x cannot contain 1.5 1.6 or all the numbers which are composed of this decimal value so these would be 1 10 2 5 so therefore this is again the discrete random variable okay the number of building permits issued each month in a certain city so the number of 
shifting permits will also be composed of the discrete values it cannot be 1.5 1.7 2.7 2.8 3.8 and all the values which composed of the decimal points but it will be a value composed of the whole number so therefore this is again the discrete value okay, as we have mentioned we should for similarly q the weight of grain produced per acre okay again the number or uh, the weight of a grain produced per acre can range from 1.7 0.0 0.111 0.789 and it can contain any value you can see that the weight can be composed of any value these will range from 0 up to infinity and here all the values cannot be distinguishable so therefore this is again a continuous random variable okay. so you have seen here the answers this is the answer of the first this is the second one this is for m this is for n this is for p okay and this is for the q1 okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the difference between the continuous and discrete random variables how to see that whether a certain random variable is continuous or discrete okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff like this one in our upcoming video so see you soon